Hello everybody, my name is Lucas from Sandwork Team and today I would like to show you how to create bow and arrow sound like this. So first thing I would like you to do is to prepare three items. Bamboo stick, rubber tape and line. Now you can start to record your items. Remember that you can experiment with different type of materials. For example, you can change bamboo stick for metal stick. Okay, now when you record your sounds, you can open your DAF and start working on your sounds. I use Ableton 11, so I will show you how to do this in this program. Okay, now we are in Ableton and I would like you to put your sounds into three different channels and name them stick, line and rubber. You have to cut your sounds and put them in the correct places on the timeline. And this is how it should look like together. Now we can listen what we have. Okay, so now we have to work a little on our sounds. So we go to the first sound stick solo it and now we will reduce the noise so we will use rx8 voice the noise from isotop okay so uh, remember to click adaptive mode and play okay so this is the curve of our noise and now we have to choose threshold. So all noise under the three decibels, which we want to reduce. And this, the power of reduction, for example, 90 decibels down. So listen it now. Okay. I heard some noise, so I can increase threshold. Okay. So we can listen it before Rx. and after Rx. Now we have to reduce voice the noise in line and rubber. In this tutorial I would like to show you only really simple bow and arrow sound so you can see that in my channels there's not so many audio effects I used in stick EQ8 and reverb the same I used in line and in rubber you can see that I also use vocal sense because I wanted to make some chromatic effect. And now 
you insert new audio tract, resampling, record your sounds. Oh, sorry. Okay. And this is ready. In the end, I would like to show you how to measure um, the loudness of our sound. Uh, it is very important when you would like to use sound in projects like films or video games um, and to check these parameters um, I will use Yalin loudness meter too. Okay, put them on master channel and here you can see some parameters we can check but the most important for us are parameters integrated and true peak so when I play you can see parameters integrated and true peak usually for video games um, I recommend you to keep true peak on minus 3 decibels and integrated for minus 23. For integrated some people also recommend minus 16. Mm, there's no problem for this but now you can see what values we have so I will use some tricks like saturator Make soft clip on and add about seven decibels. Mm. Back to yell and loudness meter, reset, once again play. Okay, you can see that integrated is about minus 23 and to peak about four, but it is very good for us. Our sound is ready to export. So con control shift R, convert to mono. Remember to make on because most of sound effects, uh, which we would like to use, for example, in video games or films, um, we use in mono. Uh, and also, uh, Remember to make wave file type and 16-bit depth. It is very important because we don't want to fill so much space in project. Now we can export and our sound is ready. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you like my video, remember that in description to this tutorial you will find a special link to download for free all these 5 sound effects you heard in uh, tutorial. Remember to subscribe my channel and if you want to see more videos like this you can also write it in common. See you next time.